Yeah, no worry, Noah. You got plenty of time. I'm still setting up and waiting for uh, co-hosts. As well as Druz. Hey, thanks for the follow. Okay, Druz is already fully set up, thank goodness. Okay. Finishing setting up here, don't mind me, chat. All right. There we go. Let me finish setting up here. Please hold, I am a professional. Uh, where's that controller? Okay, so there's the controller. Okay, there's that. Almost there. Perfect. Andy Milnakis is live. Thank you, Andy Milnakis. Chat, frames are not good right now. My stream is buffering. It is not on your end. I will re be recording this stream in HD quality. So if you want to see it in higher quality, type exclamation point YouTube. I do apologize for that. It is not something I can fix at this present moment. There is a reason Scuffed is in the name. It gives me a free pass to be as Scuffed as I want to be. All right. Both runners should be fully set up. There we go. Uh, I will not have a co-host for this match, but yes, exclamation point YouTube to go to the YouTube channel. You can bet on Phaser or Druz chat with your channel point predictions. All right. Here's that they're both ready. They're both in call. Not running predictions. That's fine. If more people decide to, they can. I assume most people are here for the both of them and not to chat with me. Oh my god, that looks awful. Phaser, please. <laughs> Thank you. That looks awful. All right. All right. Should be good to go. Frames are at an all-time low. No quality options. If you want to see this race again, it'll be on YouTube. Exclamation point YouTube. Exclamation point social. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, I do apologize for the frame drops. It's not something I can fix at this moment. It's just going to be like that. Uh, I also do not have a co-host. I'll be here solo tonight, which is fine. We've had co-hosts for all the other matches. Uh, let me see. Just being better? Absolutely. I have considered it. Oh, do I not have them fully on here? Oh, I don't. Shit. There we go. All right. Chat, I'm going to hop on call with them. Let me turn on my Kirby playlist. There we go. All right. All right, we're good. We're good to go. We are go for launch. Again, all these races will be posted in HD quality on YouTube if you want to watch them again. I apologize for the frame drops and the buffering. I cannot fix that. That is just the way it goes. All right. Let's do a little pre-race interview, and then we will get the show on the road. Exclamation point tournament to see the schedule for the rest of the tournament. Exclamation point bracket to see the tournament bracket. All right. Exclamation point tournament. Exclamation point bracket. Two very important commands to enjoy this tournament. All right. Let's get in here for the interview. Hello. Hello. 
Um, they can't hear me. Can they hear me? I don't think they can hear me. Shit. Oh, my Discord defaulted. Gross. Okay, input. Uh, there we go. Output. Hello? 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 Yo. All right. I'm coming in a little scuffed today, but I'm making it work. It's good. So, this is the first race of the quarterfinals. We've got Druz speedruns here and Phaser Laser. Uh, Phaser Laser, uh, do I have your current no LBLJ PB correct at 1756? I think so. And Druz, I have yours at 1657? Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, so, have you guys been putting in some hours this week? Any practice? Uh... Not in CCM, but yeah. I forgot about CCM, but I, I practiced earlier today and then took a nap. Nice. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. So, Phaser, uh, yeah, what is your uh, biggest worry of the race? Is it CCM? Um, Bowser stages. Yeah. 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 And BLJs, of course. Yeah, we've seen an obscene amount of deaths in this tournament, uh, specifically on, I believe, just all the Bowsers altogether. Some missed red coins, some unfortunate Goomba RNG. Uh, I mean, just 16 star. Bullshit. But uh, do either of you have any questions for me? It'll be the same setup as when you last race. I'll do a three second countdown and it'll ping you both to reset and uh, start your timers. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Good luck to both of you, and uh, we'll get this going. All right. We're coming in scuffed as fuck today, chat, but bear with me. I am recording locally for maximum quality. I get to look at Phaser Laser's face cam. We'll see if this goes to three rounds. Root for your favorite streamer in the chat, and uh, we will get this going. SMH point bracket, SMH point tournament. Very good. Very good. Let me resync these real quick. Let them buffer a little bit. Hold on. I just noticed something that's going to bother the shit out of me. Where's the countdown? It'll be in race time. Oh, you guys can't see race time. Shit. Sorry. Sorry. I'm coming in very scuffed today. I didn't give you guys access to the race time channel. You're absolutely right. Hold on. That's where we did it last time. Uh, phaser and Druz. There we go. All right. You both should have access now. Oh, you're both supposed to have access to race time. You're in general. Oh, fuck. We were, in the, we were in general. Hold on. I forgot to change everything over. Uh, Phaser. There we go. Druz. Okay. You both have access to race time general and race time VC now. There we go. All right. All right, here we go, chat. We are ready to go. We are a go for launch. Three, two, one. All right, they have been given the go ahead. Hopefully, Phaser stops giving us a seizure. There we go. All right. This is usually where my co commentator would make a dumb joke about uh, how Mario definitely says gay Bowser, possibly. We have a little bit of frame droppage, it looks like on... No. Am I seeing frame drop? No. Alright. Just about in sync. It's fine. About a two second delay between the two. I'm gonna watch both racers in high quality without seeing my buffering. You can also do that. Um, watch whatever you see the highest quality. Uh, these are the names of their channels. Phaser Laser... Oh wait, it's Phaser Laser 80. Hold on. This way you guys can watch them on your own if you don't want my commentary. If you don't want my constant drop frames, there you go. Okay, I actually have the timers set up perfectly right now. Alright, Phaser on the left, Druz on the right. 
Now, Phaser was our major upset of the tournament. It was brought in by Saren. Uh, Saren uh, tried to give us a little bit of show on round two. Ended up losing by about three seconds. And then in the final round, Phaser won by five seconds. Uh, leading Saren to regret that little bit of a show that they put on. But they brought Phaser Laser into this tournament. Introducing me. They're the only contestant that did not have to apply. They were brought in directly by another person. Druz with some weird angle. Ooh, that's rough. Early mistake by Druz. Now, Druz does have a one minute faster PB, but those are with the crazy strats that are tough to pull off in a race environment. So you're not going to see a lot of that. So this is kind of an even playing field. These quarterfinal matches will be some of our closest matches uh, that I believe you'll get to see. So, Phaser is heading over with one star over to Wamp's Fortress. Druz not too far behind him. Even after that mistake, good recovery. Uh, only one little lobby movement behind, one little doorway. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the times went back to where they usually are at as well. Druz is entering... I'm trying to get to the center here. Uh, Druz is entering the Lagville, obviously. It's weird. Only one of them lags, but the other does not. I don't know what that means. Oh my god. This is... This is unbelievably scuffed. Sorry, chat. The internet is taking a deep, deep horse shit right now. This is unwatchable, but don't worry. I am locally recording. All of these will be posted to YouTube in their premium quality. Uh, there's not much I can do about it at this time. All right, there we go. Phaser Laser sitting up for Cannonless. There we go. Gets him in. As I said, chat, you most likely will just have to watch these runners on your own. Uh, everything is buffering on my end right now. But uh, listen, listen, this is our first actually scuffed match in the tournament. It had to happen eventually. Uh, yeah, this is unwatchable. I'm, I, I apologize. This is this is not good to watch. Uh, very sorry, chat. Uh, just go watch again. These are their these are their channels. Pull them up on your own. You won't have to see any frame drops. I think one of the issues might be that Druz is on 72060 without quality options. Whereas Phaser I have on 360p for maximum framage. Parappa Gang is live. Didn't ask, didn't care. Okay, our runners are pretty much in sync. This is actually sick. We have about one Womps fight. Actually, two. Oh. So, Phaser sta la Laser Cells. Looks like we have some stability here. It's slightly more watchable. Very close race inside of Womps Fortress. Phaser Laser with maximum focus on their face. Just focused on this race right now. We're coming up on 420. Both players trying to get higher in Womps Fortress and they're about to climb the tower. Looks like they're doing similar routes here. We've seen some variants in Womps Fortress as well as SSL uh, in these races. Druz running up right now, up the right side. I'm not sure what happened. The PC crashed and then suddenly my frames got disgusting. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will just suddenly start working well again. Both coming out with six stars. Only about two seconds between the both of them. Both putting on the cap real quick. So it looks like Phaser Laser is having some better luck on getting the stars. Druz is having much better lobby movement, though. That's allowing Druz to stay in this, even with some mistakes piling up that we've noticed. Ooh, big mistake from Phaser, allowing now Druz has the lead. By about four seconds, about five seconds, actually. Druz over here on your right with the lead, entering CCM. Both players mentioning that they did not practice CCM, but they should be fine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a pregame interview after this. I just want to get through these races. I Again, I apologize for the drop frames. Uh, go ahead and go to Phaser Laser 80 and Druz speedruns to watch the tournament in maximum quality. Druz with a massive bonk! Oh, both players with mistakes piling up. One delivering the Penguin first, one going for wall kicks will work first. So slight difference there. In routing, one going for penguin, one going for wall kicks. Actually, Druz still with the lead there, but that is the faster star. Delivery takes 20 seconds. Uh, that only takes about 13 seconds. So we'll, we'll, we will see a difference here if there is a difference when they exit. It'll all add up. It'll all be fresh. 
All right. Good dive. Good dive from there, Phaser. Penguin is delivered. And yep, it looks like Phaser does have the lead. They're at 614. They get the closing screen. But a one second lead. Nothing to write home about. All right. Phaser's going to need to really pull out all the stops here to extend this. Or I guess Druz, who's got the one second lead here. Both with a similar just flip. I I've seen some different styles there entering that section. We're going to go into Bowser 1. Bowser in the dark world. All the worlds are dark. I don't know why. I guess Fire Sea's not. It's very bright. Phaser laser going head on. Also, oh, smooth piano roll from Druz there. Getting that out of there almost the first frame it appeared. Very quick finger movements. Little different cameras here over in Druz. Again, half a second lead maximum. Oh, Druz with some funky movement there. Same for Phaser. Both of them uh, kind of face planting there. I'm going to refresh both of these. Get the timers resynced a little bit after that bufferage. All right. And we have a death from Druz. Phaser laser grabbing the coin. So I think both players know how close this is going to be. I think they also are watching each other's screens. They're aware of how close this tournament is going to be. So they're both just... they're, they're Oh, Druz with another mistake. The nerves getting to them. Druz, uh, a viewer of the channel in the front of the channel. Hoping to see them continue to compete in this tournament. Am I going to move this? There we go. Sorry, that, that was bothering me. I don't know if anybody else saw that, but I saw it. All right. One's in chat if you're still enjoying the tournament, even with half the frames lost. If you want to see... With my commentary, I recommend just uh, minimizing the stream with the audio on and just opening both their streams to hear commentary, if you want to hear the commentary. Oh, another death by Druz there, as Phaser Laser is now ready to exit with the key and head to the basement. Let's see if Druz can clean things up here. We're going to see a massive mistake by Phaser. This is an unfortunate Dark World by Druz. The Dark World meltdown. Uh, that's rough. Zoro has, you know, listen. Hopefully Zoro isn't helping other runners with the mom strat. And it's only, you know, affecting their own race, but we never know. Again, I apologize. 50% of frames are being dropped. I can't help it. I use satellite internet. I live in Missouri and there's a thunderstorm right now. So again, if you want to turn off this and just go watch them directly, these are their channels. I understand. Scuffed is in the name. All right. Luckily... We, this is our fifth match in the tournament, and you know, this is our oh no, this is our ninth match in the tournament. Luckily, this is the most scuffed we've had in nine matches. I thought things were going to go a lot worse, so I appreciate it. All the runners competing, watching, and again, exclamation point YouTube. Check out the YouTube channel to see everything in high quality. Yeah, Druz panicking in the chat, saying "fuck." This this dark world meltdown is uh is rough. We've already got Phaser and... Oh, God, and LLL. I thought it was Bowser in the Fire Sea. I wasn't paying attention for a moment. I was talking to Twitch chat. Massive, massive lead here. We have a... Ooh. We, a little bit of an issue there. Both players making some mistakes, but Druz making the biggest mistakes we've seen. We will... Uh, we'll, see, we'll see. We'll see. Phaser, Laser... They're still, you know... There's still some big mistakes that we had, but if they play it safe, this is a wash. Phaser Laser getting burnt there. Taking some fire damage. And uh, Jerez is now finally heading to the basement. Phaser on your left here, injuring HMC. I'm not sure what star they're going to first. Oh, yeah. Most players want to start with Exit Star. Okay, they grab the ceiling there. They raise their hands. Yep, thumbs up. They meant to do that. They're trying to reach for the stars. Druz entering SSL. I'm not sure if they're a one star or two star. I don't quite remember. I should have taken notes last time. All right, they're going to go for Pyramid. Like it. Good. Smooth. No Toad Abuse on the left. I didn't see any Toad Abuse. I like that. Toad Abuse is a little uh, weird champ, if you ask me. It's equivalent to uh, not doing Owlis and waking up the Owl. We don't like to see people abuse the Mushroom Kingdom inhabitants. Unless they're the Goomba. Even then, 
Even then, you don't want to see too much of it. Draw is going for a second star. Going for Bird. Uh, we have a little bit of swag from Phaser here. Flying through the ceiling. There's their 14. I believe 15 will be their Boulder Dash. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. It's just what I have decided to call it. Alright, Phaser is now in there. Druz entering LLL. Damn. Thrown off their mojo. Okay. Not sure what happened. Druz is frozen. Oh no, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. That's my end. That's my end. Oh god, both freezing. Chat, sorry, there's a tornado destroying my house right now. It's kind of messed up, kind of weird. Mother Nature, not cool. There we go. Uh, oh no, Druz is... Dru Druz's stream has crashed. I'm not sure what has happened. Oh, uh, maybe Druz knows or doesn't know. Maybe the tornado also hit them. But Druz's stream is down. Um, this is going to be tough. PC blue screened? Alright, we're going to let Phaser finish this out. See if they had any issues. Then we'll know if we need to redo the round due to technical difficulties, but... Unless Phaser makes a massive mistake, we're going to let them have this round. They already had a huge lead. Freeze every 10 seconds. Nope, I've been saying that. I'm losing 50% of frames. There's a large storm. I'm on satellite internet. It's not usually this bad. There's nothing I can do. We're in the middle of a match. What up, Candy? How you doing? That's why I've been saying, Tape, if you want to properly watch the tournament, pull up both these. But Druz's PC also crashed. Dude, we got through the first series. We get to the quarterfinals, and now my stream's crashing. Druz's stream is crashing. What happened? All the scuffed came at us at once. Everything was running perfectly. The first eight matches, we enter the quarterfinals, and everything looks like shit. I apologize when I said this tournament was scuffed. I did not mean this badly. Holy shit. God damn. Usually I lose like 15% of frames. Right now I'm losing 50% of frames. Druz is PC blue screens. I don't have a co- Oh my god. I was gonna lose it. Yeah. Oh, major death by phaser. Uh, missing the hole. So Phaser is not watching the stream. And when Druz comes back, they have Phaser's time to beat for round one. Nah, because they were doing very poorly on the run, so that's giving them a second chance. Nah. I, I think we give it to Phaser. Unless Phaser can agree to just redoing round one entirely... That seems, that seems ideal. Rather than giving a player a second attempt. Yeah. I, th I think I'll let Phaser take the win unless Phaser wants to be kind-hearted. I'm going to go and let them know that they've got the win. Although I think they're very invested here. I think I want to see him finish it. He's waving at the camera. Phaser, if you want, you've got the win. Or you can finish it out. I'm not going to stop you. You're on pretty good run. Okay, Druz is doing different splits, so I have to move this now. There we go, slightly. No! What the fuck? Why did you shift it? Wait, why did it move? Oh, there we go. There we go. What's up, Penguin? Enjoy my unwatchable stream. Like I said, just go support these two runners. Go watch their streams. Okay? You can leave me on for commentary, but if you want to see it in high quality, open both their streams. Or go to my YouTube, exclamation point YouTube. I will post the runs. I'm recording them locally without dropped frames. They'll be on my YouTube channel. 
Yeah, it looks like Phaser is going to finish out the run. There's still a possibility of them PBing, so I understand it. I'm going to go ahead and up the counter. Oh, why did I do that? There we go. I can't count. Sorry. Jesus. We were doing fine. We were 20% drop frames. Then my PC blue screen just before it ruzzes. And when I came back, I was having 60% drop frames. It could be that the storm rolled in right then. I don't know. God damn. We made it this far. This is unwatchable, though. Yeah. I'm encouraging chat to either just go to the YouTube for the match or go watch the runners add to their view count. Okay? Uh, no hard feelings if you leave to just go watch them. Damn. Stream was running so smooth today, too. Until the crash. Already on throws. It already happened twice today. Dude, my PC crashed twice today. Wait, Druz, are you on AMD? Are we both getting fucked because we have AMD cards and Microsoft pushed an update today? Which is causing a conflict? Oh my god, if you're a fellow AMD friend, I just just give you the win. I should just give you the money to switch to NVIDIA. Yes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Probably? I bet you're on AMD graphics just like me. I'm losing my mind. Chat, as soon as I have money set to move, the rest of the money is going towards NVIDIA graphics card. I need to put AMD in the dirt and move on with life. Damn. Phaser was on insane pace to PB. What a run. What's wrong with AMD graphics? 90% of people I've spoken to have the same issues I have, where if it's not under load, it doesn't turn on. You blue screen regularly. Like, I know five people on Discord. I have very few people. I know five people on Discord. One of them has to run Call of Duty 24-7 for their graphics card to turn on. I have to have OBS on 24-7 in order for my PC to not crash and to actually run. It's so common, bro. I don't know how your shit runs so smooth. 90% of AMD owners I know, a Genix, Fork, Shirtless Pumpkin, uh, me, uh, fucking, who else? Yeah, most people I run into, if they have PC issues, what actual car do I have? Uh, exclamation point PC, should tell you. That was scuffed as fuck, but Phaser wins the round, Lamau. Gonna go right into rounds two, so delete saves and let me know when ready. Is it bad to eat chapstick? Yes. I licked my lips and it tasted good. I want to keep licking. Okay, well, no. Okay. I was going to say a minor amount is one thing, but... <laughs> All right, all right. All right. Yeah, I know so many AMD users that want to gouge their eyes out. Like, I'm, I don't know. Some people have a good time, but the majority I've spoken to, like I had Nvidia for years. Oh God, I want to go back to Nvidia so bad. I've never heard of the amount of issues with Nvidia. It's a great card when it works. When it works, great card. All right, going back into round two. Are you ready? Two months ago. Your dentist gave you chapstick? That's a weird dentist. Wait, who's pinging me in Teal Hollow's chat? Oh, exclamation point. Yes, okay. How would you... Okay, the frames aren't due to my graphics card. Would I buy you a beer? I'll buy you a beer no matter what, because you get. To, I'm gonna get to ride on your shoulders. All right. Here we go. 
Three, two, one. All right. Yeah, the moment I turn off OBS, my card just starts artifacting. No, the frame drop is because there's a major storm above my head, plus satellite internet, plus whatever happened when the stream crashed. I'm sure there's something on my PC end. It's actually getting slightly better. We're now down to 40% dropped frames. Holy shit. All right, this one might actually be watchable. After your visit? Yeah, I know, no, but chaps, like toothbrush makes sense. The chapstick doesn't make sense. Yeah, we always get toothbrush and toothpaste. Toothpicks, floss. Uh, the chapstick doesn't make any sense. That's weird. That's cosmetics only. Not buying cosmetics for my dentist. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Again, if you want to see this in high quality, either go to my YouTube or go to these guys' channels. These are their channel names. Phaser Laser 80, Draw Speed Runs. Let's see if we get a Lakitu skip right here. Ooh, no Lakitu by Draws. Oof. Tough, tough loss there. Throwing off the rocker. Three deaths and a blue screen. And that will throw off any runner. Phaser might be here on their next upset. Phaser was our biggest upset of the first round of the tournament. Now we're in round two of the quarterfinals. They might be our second upset. They won two to one to Saren. They might go 2-0 against Druz here. They might be the dark horse. They had a two-minute slower PB... Never mind. ...than Saren. And they have a one-minute slower PB than Druz here. If Phaser can pull this off, they will be the dark horse of this tournament. Is it about Black Ops? What do you mean? Yeah, Bork and SSSS in the Discord. I remember we were talking, we were doing D&D &D that one time. And I brought up how I had to have OBS running during D&D &D or my shit would crash. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm running Call of Duty right now. Otherwise my AD card isn't under load so it doesn't turn on. So it runs like shit. Like AMD under idle, I've heard from tons of people. And I've done everything, by the way. Like, chat will give me every suggestion. I have three chatters that work in IT that have given me a, a thousand solutions that did not help. They both had tech in their name. I've had Techie. I've had Tex. Bryant, who built the PC here on multiple occasions. Eh, it's a loss. I've learned to live with it. Luckily, my PC only crashes, like, once a week, or if there's a Microsoft update and AMD doesn't have new drivers. Those are the only time it crashes. And then, so long as I remember to turn on OBS, it does not audio artifact. So, I, I've learned to work with it. First try Candlelist from Phaser. First try from Druz. Very close race right now. You'll love to see it. <clears throat> I really want to see this go to three rounds. I like Druz. I think Druz is even like, yeah, Druz is a follower of the channel, watches the stream. I at least want to see a three-rounder, okay? I don't want to say who I want to win, but I want to see a three-rounder. I like a competition. I just want to see it go two and out. Last run, I know was not Druz's best, okay? I know they weren't intending for the PC crash strat. All right. I want to see him turn on the Jets. I was hoping, however, when the stream turned back on, I would have quality options. I do not. That is sad. We are seeing a slight lead here by Phaser going up to the Womp fight. Uh, this is similar to how it was last time. There was a slight lead going into this fight by about one jump, maybe two jumps. Uh, then we have the climb, the Tower of Power. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to try and time this real quick. All right, 415. All right, we have a five-second lead by Phaser going into the tower climb. Let's see how people do. Good song, good song, good song. Let me turn up the music a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
All right, both players flying up this tower. All right, we have a 446 grab by Phaser. Slight movement helped out there. There's about four seconds now behind. Gained about a second there, draws. Hey, what up, AJ Lane? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Again, if you want to see the stream without drop frames, without a storm above my head, Mother Nature rectally plowing me, go to their channels, Phaser Laser 80 and Druz Speedruns. Check them out. Heading into CCM. 518. We're now only three seconds. Druz's lobby movement is really what's keeping them in this race against Phaser. Again, they go separate paths. One goes delivery first, one goes wall kicks first. I would usually go wall kicks first. It's the more risky uh, star. I usually like to get those just out of the way. If I'm going to make a mistake, I'd rather make it sooner rather than later. So I know how to adjust the run later on to make up for that lost time. Druz is already back in, but the next star does take a longer time. So you can't say that there's a lead yet uh, because of the change in order. Wall kicks takes about 13 seconds. Penguin delivery takes about 20 seconds. Oh, but a death by Phaser! And that's going to set him back. That is going to set Phaser back very hard. Oh, All right. All right, I see the menu at 617 by Druz. Let's see if Phaser can solve. No, the same issue again. Two deaths. Oh, boy. We're going to see some deaths by Druz in Dark World here, or Phaser is going to look real rough here. And we're going to go to round three. Internet getting slightly better. We went from 55% drop frames to 48% drop frames. Very cool. You love to see it. All right, and we're looking at about a. It's gonna be about a 40 second differential. Who's winning? Well, round one with a phaser, but the current race, Druz. Druz has about a 40 second lead, which you can lose. All right, that's only two deaths. And we saw Druz take three of those before the blue screen crash of 89. And Druz is going to be playing out of their mind. They know that FaZe is here to just shut this out. Make it... Oh, oh, oh. I think Druz is shaked up. Sh Listen, I thought they were going to have more nerves than last time after all those mistakes. It's very hard to play well after such a poor display, but uh, they're turning on the gas. They're turning on the heat. They're giving you a show tonight. Make sure to follow Druz Speedruns and Phaser Laser 80. That is a third death from Phaser. We'll see if they get the blue screen and they go the Druz route. It, it looks like we're going to go for three here. It's still early. We've seen people lose leads like this before in the tournament. Nothing is guaranteed in life except for death and Mario. And the fact that Mario will die at some point. All right, let's see when Druz gets this here. Yeah, we don't want to see phase of game over. They've only got one health left after all those deaths. And that is an 808 exit by Druz. I believe there will be about a minute, maybe even a minute and a half now at this point between the two players. You can see the nerves building up for Phaser here with these mistakes. It becomes very difficult. Mistakes add up like crazy in this game. Very common. They fall like dominoes. Uh, you know, going for PB is very different from going uh, in a tournament race setting. You've really got to keep your composure, know how to adjust and stay cool even when you're making mistakes. So I believe we saw an 818 exit by Druz there. Uh, so we're going to get these spins wrapped up by Phaser as Druz enters SSL. Going for Pyramid Star here. Hopefully no deaths. An SSL death can set you back quite a bit, especially because these are your faster stars in the game. Uh, looks like Phaser's not doing too bad. I thought they'd lost a lot more time, but it's going to look like... Okay, about 9.12 versus an 8.18. Uh, about a 55 second lead, 10 seconds added. Oh, Druz, is, Druz knows they have a lead. They're going to try and save even more time here. A risky move, and it doesn't pay off. Oh, and there's their death. Oh, boy. Druz got cocky. Instead of going for two SSL, they're trying to go for two LLL and only one in SSL. Oh, boy. 
And they're committed now. SSL is a long way away. Taking fire damage there. All right, let's see if they can pull this off. They do get it the next attempt, but that's going to be very helpful. All right, we have a 10-minute flat exit on LLL. We'll see how Phaser does and how they've caught up. They went from a 55-second lead. We'll see how this changes. Oh, never mind. That was just the first LLL. Hold on. They are not done with LLL yet. A little bit of a hot booty over there by Phaser. Uh, interesting alternate red coin path. I've never seen that before. The 10.35 menu finish. All right, this next star is very quick, though. Let's see. It was a 55 second. Oh, because they got that bonus star in HMC. Oh god, so this is this I can't tell I can't tell how the lead is now. We have such different routes from both players. I'm just gonna have to see when they get the MIPS grab. There was a 55 second lead by Druz. I don't know where that's at now. Set a DM for after stream. Okie Lee Doki Lee. No toad abuse. Very good. Again, there was a 55 second lead. We'll go up the 15 star here, so rather than the mips grab. All right, let's see where this closes out. And that is 1145. Okay. All right. Let's see if this uh, lead has been brought down at all by Druz's death earlier. As well as missed attempts. All right, Phaser going for 15 here. It looks like there will be an exchange. They're going for Boulder Dash. There was a 55 second lead. 11:55 draws exit. And it looks like they will reduce the lead by about 20 seconds. Looks like there's a 35 second difference. Based off that alone, Druz now entering DDD at 12.43. Phaser going for MIPS here. If they can get a good grab, good clip. Oh, and they punch the wall. What did I say, chat? Mistakes add up in this speed run. At least we got a good song playing, keeping the vibes good. We're going to see a massive mistake by Druz. Otherwise, this is going to three rounds for sure, for sure. All right, Druz going for the nose of the sub. This could be where the mistake happens. We saw Saren do this. Oh, but Druz makes it look like butter. Oh, you like to see it. We're now down to 45% drop frames, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, Mother Nature is allowing my stream to be shown to actual people. Very cool. Alright, one exits into Fire Z, one goes into DDD. We're gonna see some good swims, good movement. Oh, true. Big mistake by Druz. Almost taking a death there. Needing to circle back for some health. This does mean they're gonna miss the first cycle here by quite a lot. We'll see how they adjust. It's gapped is live. Merry Christmas. We have the buffering stream strats. The pause and refresh both of those. All right. All right, one entering fire. If Phaser can fly through Fire Sea without any hot ass, I mean, this can be this could be scary for Druz. 
rocketing up the pole. They might hit zero cycle here. I don't actually know what zero cycle is. I'm just talking out of my ass. They don't take a death here. God, why is everyone going live right now? It's 9.42. What a weird time to go live. Okay, they do hit the cycle. Cool. Getting spammed by going live alerts. Okay, there we go. All right, 1508 on the re-entrance, okay. This is getting close. This is getting very close. I mean, the lead is dwindling here. Oh, but a missed, no, a missed throw. And draws flying through BLJs. I love that I taught Brew how this works, so I know Brew's like, oh, damn. He missed that throw and he nailed that BLJ? The Lyndon B. Johnsons? Chat, I've taught you the ways so you can appreciate these speedruns and how good these runners are and how unfortunate it is when mistakes pile up. There we go. We're going to see major mistakes by Drez here. Oh... He grabbed that back dick well, yes. But it was a it was a little bit of a rough throw. They got it the next time though. Draws flying through Bowser here, looking like a task runner on steroids. I don't even know what that means. I don't think a task runner could be on steroids. I don't think that would help. I don't think steroids would help speedrunning at all. Adderall, maybe. Oh big fall by I don't mean to be excited when people make a mistake, but I like a close race, okay? You know me, chat. You've watched this tournament enough. All I want is a close race. I'm not biased. Okay? I nearly always root for the guy who's who's falling behind. I just want content. And Druz is giving it. Druz is giving some content. Phaser is struggling on BLJs, though. Using Mario Cam. We've some, seen some use Lactu, some use Mario Cam. Alright, Druz. Oh, Phaser just... Not hitting these BLJs. Fortunately, not taking advantage of the uh, time that Druz has given them. I think that will clip, and it will. That's a bad Goomba spawn, but it works. And when entering the Bowser throws, we've seen deaths here before. We've seen chokes here before. But if that's going to happen, Phaser needs to meet it halfway with some insane... Oh, oh, that's so robbery. Phaser just got robbed there. That BLJ should have sent up there. And it looks like they will get up there now. Two throws by Druz. One throw remains. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see a three-round match. The first one since week two of the tournament. We're going to take it to round three. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna take it to the end. Oh boy. Eighteen oh three. Both players playing insane today. Phaser got a low eighteen. Draws got a low eighteen. We're now at a one to one. Oh boy. Chat, now you get nervous. Noah, I assume you're here to do payouts. I do see that there's Gamba in the chat. Go ahead and start the Gamba for round three. Who will take the match? There's a call for official Noah 21. I guess I can pay it out. I'm a streamer. Complete prediction. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start the prediction. All right. You have five minutes. Commence Operation Gamble. There you go. You have five minutes on the clock. Pick who you think is going to win the match. Phaser played insane and got a low 18. Druz played insane and got a low 18. I don't know who's going to win. I really don't. I mean, we are. 
the content's enjoyers. Mazer says they're ready. Oh boy. Chat, don't forget to gamble. We have one person with 5k brew betting on Druz. Tape Master betting 2k on Phaser Laser. We have 2.6k from Zoro on Phaser Laser to clutch up here. Continue gambling. Phaser has said they're ready. Druz has not said they're ready yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. What up, Trip Fives? How you doing? Don't forget to gamble, chat. Gambling is good. Nothing is wrong with gambling ever. This is the way. All right. Let's see here. Thank you, Trip Fives, for the follow. Appreciate it. Again, I apologize for the drop frames. All right, there's a big storm, and I have satellite Missouri internet. This full race and all the tournament races will be posted on my YouTube channel, exclamation point YouTube, to check out the YouTube channel and watch all the races, or just go to their channels and ignore me. They're the real content. I'm just stealing from their abilities, all right? All right, we've got two people voting. Phaser 2 voting for Druz. Actually, three people over on Druz. All right. People are actually going to lose some money on this one. <laughs> Shouldn't be so excited. Here we go. Three. Two. One. And they've been given the go-ahead. I'm recording locally, so that way you won't see drop frames on the YouTube version of the race. Let me reset both these. All right, about a three-second differential here between the times. Nothing to worry about. Rooting for drugs because it sounds like drugs. I agree with you. I don't care who wins. I just want to... Phaser gambling on drugs. That's confusing. That's conflicting. Are they here to shave points off the game? Are they here to... Are they here to rob chat of their channel points? <laughs> Can I just say that? Phaser laser looks exactly like Jake and Bake. I don't know if anybody in chat knows who Jake and Bake is, but Phaser Laser looks exactly like Jake and Bake. I just see it. I keep seeing it. I had to say it. Let's go Phaser. <laughs> All right. Let's see a good clean round three. This is our first, this is only our third round three in the entire tournament. The first one of the quarterfinals, which just tells you how good the quarterfinals are gonna be. If you wanna see the rest of the quarterfinals schedule and matchups, type exclamation point tournament in the chat, okay? An exclamation point bracket to see the actual bracket. Two commands, you gotta use them both. Exclamation point tournament, exclamation point bracket. You'll get all the info you need for the rest of the tournament. High quality tournament, only the highest of quality. Ooh. No mistakes yet. Exclamation point banana. Banana. Exclamation point quote. Nothing to commentate until we get to Wom's Fortress. Really? God. The lobby movement, I'm telling you. In Worlds, Druz loses a little bit of time, but makes for it based on lobby movement. You can watch it. Watch the times. Druz saves so much time in the lobby. Whereas Phaser saves a lot of time in the world. You can see some differences there on uh, what they may have practiced and what they may have put. Ooh, Phaser with the first bonk in Wilds Fortress. All right, let's see these Alice's. Ooh, and Phaser. Major mistakes happening here. Maybe the nerves getting the best of them. 
Maybe uh, it's the fact that he realizes he looks like Jake and Bake now getting to his head. That would get to me if I realized I look like Jake and Bake. I would recommend muting the stream if you're in the tournament. I can't imagine listening to my annoying voice and also having to compete. That sounds like absolute actual HIV AIDS of the ear. Uh, so just a recommendation if you're in the tournament. I would mute me. Ignore me. Don't acknowledge me. All right, and Druz developing a little bit of a lead here. It's going to look like 301, 306, five-second lead on star three. A little bit out of order, though, so it's not a hard science. It's not exactly a five-second lead. We'll definitely know once they exit Womp's Fortress, as they both will be getting six stars. That's the traditional route. We have Druz going up for a candleless attempt here. Oh, that must be why the route was a little bit different. I guess they missed their candleless, and I was not paying attention. I missed the missed candleless, but they got it. And there's 333. Eight. We're about tied on star four here. Exactly 50% on both sides. You'll love to see it. Somebody's going to lose a lot of channel points. Zoro, you've gambled a perfect game in my chat. Yo. Man run! Is that a man run to swim? Thank you, Colt, with the 41 months. Pull a ghost rare dark arm dragon from second haunting. I don't know what any of that means. $80 cards from a whole sword display. I don't know what any of that means. I do know though, chat, that we have a slight one second lead by Druz here. But a one second lead by Druz going to the Tower of Power. And Druz has some quick speed with it, followed by the lobby towards CCM. Hopefully we want to see a death by Phaser again. We saw two deaths by Phaser in CCM and some issues in Dark World. We'll see if he's cleaned those up, those nerves. See if uh, this one second lead can go away. Wipe it off the record. Don't mind me, chat. Just a buffering streamer, buffering my life away. And it's going to look like 448. Oh, a two second lead now by Druz. That minute, that movement. Second haunting is the Shiznit. Got it. Ah, the Yu Gi Oh! I thought people were playing Yu Gi Oh! online now. And we're heading into CCM. We'll see if we see any more issues. Once again, they will go different ways. I believe Phaser goes for delivery first and Druz goes for wall kicks will work first. Yep. Two paths diverge. Druz, clean grab. Phaser over here, pointing the wrong way. Still hard to tell a little late on the grab there. Uh, Druz did the faster star first, so you can't compare the times yet until they leave CCM here. Again, delivery takes about 17 seconds. And you got about 13 seconds on wall kicks, depending on the way that you do it. Those are my times, for example. All right, and it looks like Druz is going to exit here at 6.07. And Phaser Laser is going to exit at... Let's see. It's now a six second lead by Druz. Six second lead by Druz over here. Thirty five. About a, about, about a five second lead. Druz locked about a second there on movement. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Good shit by both runners here. I don't want to see any deaths. I just want to see them both playing out of their minds. Phaser and Druz with some wonky movement there. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be intense. I can already tell. They are both they both want to stay in this tournament. They both want to stay in this tournament. Phaser with a little bit of a shock. Druz having to wait a cycle there. Ooh, awkward as fuck movement. That would have made my butthole pucker. Phaser with a little bit of a bonk. Recovers well, though. 
Nothing too crazy. No runner should be worried right now. This is as close as we've ever seen it at this stage in the race. Usually by now, there's about a one minute differential, either to Druz's three deaths and crash or Phaser's two deaths without crash. And an 803 there grabbed by Druz. About an 812 there. All right. Nine second difference here. Druz slowly pulling away. We're going to need to be to say by Druz or Phaser with some cracked movement. Both heading to basement. Ooh, Phaser with a little bit of a bonk. Continuing to look like Jake and Bake. All right, let's see here. All right, Druz. Ooh, a little bit of a... Ooh, ooh, couple bonks there. Losing a lot of momentum. It's going to help Phaser there, especially with their bonks. All right. I assume both will go for one star here. You've just been coconut mauled. We'll see, though. Druz might play it safe and go for bird this time to avoid the LLL death they got last time. Let's see. And no, Druz is going to go for the two stars in LLL. I believe Phaser will as well. This could be where we see a huge change in time. Uh, this, 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 uh, oh, a little bit of a ground pound there. Wonky movement. Going for different stars. Once again, diverging. Both these runners, one choosing to do the safer star first, one doing the riskier star first. Different ideologies altogether. But Druz nails it and has the lead, so Phaser has to. If Phaser messes up on that star, that's going to add about 30 seconds to Druz's already 8 second lead. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Druz hadn't done red coins yet. Oh, and Phaser doesn't do two stars there. I forget that. Oh my god. Two very different routes by both of these runners. These are the most different we've seen two routes in this tournament. It's a little difficult to keep track of times. Woo! That was smooth by Phaser. Okay, so both players great on their routes here. Alright, both dealing with Toad. Alright, let's see here. 1033. Nine second lead still. Druz is struggling to pull away and expand their lead. That was sick. That is the first time I've seen that little movement there since I've watched this game. I don't know if that was intentional or not. That was kind of slick. Druz giving us some content. All right. Music amping up. Coconut Mall amping up. Within 10 seconds of each other, Druz is 9 seconds within their PB pace. Druz is playing real balls to the wall right now. Phaser plays, trying some cool boulder movement there, but it doesn't pay off. Both runners clearly deserving to be in this tournament, but unfortunately only one of them will be able to stay. I don't know who it's going to be. We've seen Druz make some mistakes late in the run, as well as Phaser. I, I don't know. As always, it's going to be the BLJs and throws. It's going to be everything. Oh, Phaser making some of a mistake to last race. Still not too far behind. Honestly. We are still right here. And there's a minute between these PBs. This is a close race. That obviously will mean Phaser is on PB pace. So I hope they finish this out regardless of what happens. They are nine seconds ahead of previous segment. Oh my god. And Druz is also on PB pace. 
Only two seconds behind PB. This might be one of the closest matches we've had, period. The only one that's been closer was Saren versus Phaser round three. And that was within four seconds of each other. Oh, Druz with their first mistake in a while, trying to go for the front of the sub. Gets them shaking up a little bit. We'll see if uh, Phaser goes for the back of the sub for a clean mounting. And they are. All right, I want to see these entrances on Bowser and the Fire Sea. I'll tell you how far the lead is now. Looks like a 1302. Is that a 1307? Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm going off the one-up. I'm going off the one-up. Ooh, a little bit of a bonk from Druz. Making mistakes here. We're only seeing a 13-second lead by Druz here. Oh. And Phaser might pass him in Fire Sea. Their movement is just much more nutty. Oh, god damn. They're trading buffers here. In the third and final round of the race of this match. Oh my god. And this is... Phaser are having some issues here on their movement. But uh, they did save some time there. They did catch up, I believe, a couple seconds. I think it's less than 10 second difference now. Alright, there's throw. Bays are not missing it this time. Oh my god. Both must be nervous. If they're watching the stream, nerves are at an all time high. Okay, 1426. Call it 1429. Oh, eight second difference. Huge time save by Phaser. Insane PB pace. Oh, God. Oh, I'm nervous, chat. I am nervous. Both entering BLJs and final Bowser. This could go either way. Druz does not connect first try. This opens it up for Phaser to take the lead. Not building the speed they need. Druz trying to connect on the second attempt. They're trying to force it. Will it do it? And it does. It does connect. We get a fast clip from Phaser here. Oh, no. Struggling with some BLJs. They did get a gold split on their last split. All right, Druz connects the second one after a little bit of issue there. Phaser trying to make a composure. The dreaded BLJ RNG is upon us. This is how it goes. You can play out of your mind, but those BLJs, they will come back to haunt you. And Druz playing out of their mind as well, trying to lock this down. And there is the clip by Phaser Laser. We're just need to see a big death here. Oh, Druz playing it very safe. Oh, but they're going a different, slightly different route. This isn't, this isn't game over, but they are having some issues here. Grabbing the pole. The second BLJ is a little bit more easy to do on the Infinity Staircase. A lot more room to work. The Phaser did have issues before. Druz taking the time to kill a Goomba. Without Ransom BLJs, exactly. Phaser, previous segment, 4.28. Oh, and the... No! I want to see if it is out. Insane run by Druz, especially in a race. Insane run by both players in a race. If it was not for those BLJs, Phaser would have... Oh my god. Claps in chat. And Druz is gonna wrap this up? 
with a 17? Looks like it's gonna be like a 1731. 17, th oh my God. Destroying Phaser's PB in a race. My God. Flaps in the chat. Druz takes it. Wow. What a match to start off the quarterfinals. Chat, exclamation point tournament to see the rest of the quarterfinals matches. They should be as close as this one. GG's to both runners. Both deserve to be here. Only one can move on. Make sure to follow both of them. Phaser Laser 80 and Druz Speedruns. All right, the channel points have been paid out. GG to Druz. By the skin of his neck, three deaths and a PC crash. He got an 1803 and a 1730 in round two and then three. Phaser Laser got a low 18, a low 19, and it looks like they'll get a mid 18 here as well. Oh, no, they won't. I'm actually stupid. I don't know how time works. Ignore me. I'm a dumb streamer with no frames. And all right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shout out both runners. I'm going to get on call with them, do a little post-game interview. Again, if you want to see these in high quality, go to my YouTube channel, okay? Or click my social links. I'm going to post these runs in high quality without their buffering. All right. I'm going to hop in for a post-game interview. Uh, Druz, if you'll undeafen, not that you can hear me. Great match, gentlemen. Great match. Yep. That is, uh... Bo oh, God. Fuck it. It's fun. To lose a 16 star PB to BLJs, there's no, there's no more constant in the world. I was, I'm, both times I wasn't even aware I was PB pace. <laughs> we were, we were watching here. You were gold splitting, green splitting. You were about, you were on PB pace for Druz's PB. Oh damn. Yeah, you'll have to watch it back. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you were playing huh. out of your mind. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking over occasionally, like, bro, like, you're correct. Like, you're on, like, uh, good pace. Yeah. Uh, those BLJs, though. Those BLJs. Yeah. Those Lyndon B. Johnsons will bring anybody down. Yeah, man. But, uh... Oh, well. <laughs> There'll be many like it. Yeah. Congratulations, Druz. Uh, Phaser Laser. Hopefully this isn't the end. I'd love to see you in any tournament I do again. You're always welcome. Thanks for giving me free content. Um, you weren't even in this tournament originally until Saren's person dropped out. <laughs> yeah. I'm always uh, down for races and stuff and tournaments. I like them. Yeah, it's like, awesome. Is there um, anything you want to shout out or talk about before I let you go? Uh, no. I think, well, I'm going to be getting a re-stick, I think, yeah, within uh, a couple weeks or so. I got I won the giveaway a while back, and I'm going to do oh, an yeah. unboxing stream of that. And oh, shit. It on stream and stuff. So, that'll be cool. Chat, follow <laughs> Phaser Laser. They're soon to uh, crush Druz's PB. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to touch... 16 for a while after this i've been i was in the 16 star blitz the bdef thing too oh, yeah. uh, so much to there. <laughs> all right and uh druz our winner is there anything you want to shout out or talk about uh yeah sure uh the tomorrow 64 summer league is happening in june and the rest of the summer there's gonna be a lot of mario in the future everyone's doing mario now Sick, sick. And we'll get your uh, your 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 next match won't be for 
a bit, I think. The, the quarterfinals are going to take some time. Apparently, every runner is flying around the world and is only available <laughs> at 2 in the morning. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for scheduling your match. I was having trouble getting any of them scheduled. Yeah, you're welcome. But awesome. Uh, thank you again, both of you, uh, for, you know, putting on a show. Chat enjoyed it. A lot of people lost some channel points one way or the other. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys go. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for competing. Well, thanks for hosting. All right. All right, chat. Woo! That had me... Oh my god, I am so bright because my PC crashed and I didn't change my settings. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Make sure to follow them. Phaser Laser and Druz Speedruns. Turn down my brightness. Holy shit. All right, let me say my goodbyes. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, chat. If you want to keep up with the stream, I'll be back on Monday. I don't stream on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, click that link in chat. It'll give you my Discord, my Twitter. Uh, if you click that link, it'll pull up all of this. My Twitch, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, YouTubes, where I'll be posting the races, Instagram as well, if you want to see my asshole. Uh, all good to go. Again, thank you, Phaser, Laser, and Druz. Congratulations to Druz. Exclamation point bracket, see the bracket. Exclamation point tournament. To see the current schedule as I have it. Let's see. Let me update this. That is a 2-1. to one. This is only our third 2-1. to one. The rest have been 2 and O's. Obviously, that'll happen in round one. Hopefully, we see a lot more 2-1s here in the rest of the quarterfinals. Ruz, now our first semifinal contender. Damn. And which means, no matter what, Druz has a shot at a bronze match. He has one shot to go for the finals, or a shot to at least go for bronze. Which there's a first place, second place, and third place prize. But, I'm gonna get out of here, chat. Stay sunny. Let me pull up my ending song. Midnight Sunset. Midnight Sunset. It's a cool name for a band. All right, I'll see you later, chat. Thank you for watching. Stay sunny. I love you. Be safe. Be good. Be kind. Do things. I'll be back on Monday. All right. There you go. I don't stream Saturday or Sunday. I'll be back on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just like usual. Uh, yeah. That's all I got to say. I'll see you later. Good night. Bye bye.